What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here doing dirty, filthy boat jobs with me. You should be off watching the Rotorua Island video. I'll take you there, look. Go there. There. Oh, there. Okay. Yep, so we're just going to leave Putiki Bay at Waiheke Island, which is here. I'm gonna come down the Tamaki Strait, up into the Waiheke Channel, over to Rotorua Island, um, the nature I'm reserve, and we're gonna anchor here and stay a few days and have a good look around. Okay. Go and enjoy that video and then come back in a couple of weeks and I'll show you what we've been doing on the boat. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Nestled in the Haraki Gulf, east of Waiheke, Rotorua is a real treasure of an island that we are so lucky to have on our doorstep. Rotorua Island is one of our favourite places to visit and we've taken you here before in a previous video when we took shelter here for a few days waiting for strong winds to pass. Keep an eye out for another video where we will show you parts of the electrical storm that we experienced while anchored off Rotorua. Rotorua, an island sanctuary, has a lot to offer anyone who visits, from its rich social history to its more recent restoration of native species. Previously owned by the Salvation Army, Rotorua was once an alcohol rehabilitation island where people with alcohol addiction could be sent to recover. Now owned by a private trust, Rotorua still has some historical buildings remaining and it also has a very informative information centre explaining Rotorua's social history and restoration work. No matter how many times we visit Rotorua, we never tire of its natural beauty and see native bird species thriving. Rotorua Island has a wide variety of walking tracks and well-maintained tracks make it easy to get around the island seeing all the beauty it has to offer. Please join us as we show you this little gem of a place and we hope after watching this video, Rotorua is added to your top list of places to visit. It will not disappoint. There's Tycho, <laughs> indicated by the finger. So that's good, still there? Still there. Weka are a flightless bird. Once widespread in New Zealand, these birds can now only be found in a few areas on mainland New Zealand and are fully protected on New Zealand's mainland. Weka have a varied diet and are said to be very curious and have been known to not only take food but small objects to investigate in nearby cover. I had never seen Weka until I visited Rotorua Island and we were fortunate enough to see their curiosity as you will see later in this video. Ladies Bay on the other side of Men's Bay and people are enjoying a good swim another weka a couple of weka having a drink what a secret little gem this is oh ladies bay ladies knew how to pick. Takahe are another species of flightless bird. They are endemic to New Zealand and have a conservation status of threatened, nationally vulnerable. 
The Department of Conservation recorded a population of 440 takahe as of October 2021. Mammalian predators, habitat destruction and competition for their food have contributed to their decline. Once believed to be extinct for 50 years, Geoffrey Orbull, who was a physician from Invercargill, rediscovered the takahe in 1948. Since then, conservation efforts have worked hard to protect the takahe. What a privilege it was to see this takahe family. Gosh, we've done a lot of walking today. Eh? Just beautiful. What's your thoughts, Skip? Okay. What's your thoughts? Really cool. I know. Yeah, beautiful view there. Gosh, I'm just like to think of this, these sorts of places, you know, before humans um, came. Could just imagine how these places must have just thrived with all the wildlife and you know um, marine life coming into these bays that we just to be really lucky to see these days I guess but look at it just stunning so glad that there's people out there that put in the mahi to bring these places up so that people like us can enjoy them again Sounding like a car engine that won't start is the unmissable call of the beautiful Tieke, also known as the Saddleback, one of New Zealand's unique wattle birds. Other wattle birds are the Kokako, which have a conservation status of endangered, and the extinct Huia bird. Saddlebacks were once widespread throughout New Zealand, but with deforestation and the introduction of predators saw their decline, resulting in the Saddleback being close to extinction. Fortunately, Conservation efforts have worked hard to protect the remaining saddleback. It's just walking around another one of the lakes here on Rotoroa. We're so hoping to see Paitiki. Um, brown teal, but we've seen. Oh, there's a little bird, Adam. Grey warbler, is it? Yeah, grey warbler. That's what I saw before. Yeah. Haven't heard the grey warblers. Is that one sign too? No. Um, haven't heard the grey warblers around here. No. So, as I was saying, the brown teal, that's what we're hoping to catch a glimpse of. I just don't know. Tried both lakes. They're elusive. Which probably goes in hand hand in hand with their rarity. But you know look at this. Beautiful walking tracks. There's some harder walking tracks here. Um but all the tracks are pretty well maintained. It's just beautiful. Easy to get around this island, really. Okay, so let's just try our luck here once more. Do you mind just holding that for a moment? Maybe it's heavy. All right, Pai Tiki, now's your chance to come out and come on film. I reckon in the heat of the day.
you see this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Looks like a wicker from here. See? Oh, I thought you were talking about the one on the far bank. And just like that, the Paitiki heard my plea and showed itself. The Paitiki, or brown tail, is a duck endemic to New Zealand. Once widespread throughout New Zealand, Paitiki are now restricted to a few locations and are rare. Once considered nationally endangered, conservation efforts had meant that their conservation status is now threatened, nationally increasing. Predation, habitat loss, hunting, competition with other duck species and being run over by vehicles have contributed to the Paitiki's decline. We visited this lake three times during our visit hoping to see this beautiful bird and we were rewarded for our efforts and what a reward it was. I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Feeling lucky to have seen some rare native birds, we were further spoiled with this beautiful little pea waka waka or fantail dancing on the path as it was hunting for insects. Fantails are endemic to New Zealand and live on the mainland of New Zealand too. Their friendly cheat cheat call and flying behaviour always makes it a pleasure to watch and be around them. Lots of walking up hills and so some good exercise that you can get done too but just look at it beautiful then he kept walking on down the road and I watched him disappear like smoke and I thought I'd just seen a go So this is Men's Bay. So when this was a rehabilitation centre, this is where you could come, the men could come and swim and snorkel and do whatever. And um, Ladies Bay. Oh, Ladies Bay is that way. Is that Ladies Bay and that's yeah. that one there? No, around the point. Oh yeah. Whilst in Men's Bay, we were very fortunate to see the Tu Turifatu, also known as the New Zealand Dotteral. Endemic to New Zealand, the southern New Zealand Dotteral has a conservation status of threatened, nationally critical, and the northern New Zealand Dotteral is considered to be recovering. Once widespread throughout New Zealand, loss of habitat, coastal development, introduced predators and being disturbed during their breeding season has resulted in their decline with a population of only two and a half thousand birds remaining. As you can see, New Zealand dotterel can be hard to see and their preferred nesting sites makes them vulnerable to people, off-road vehicles and dogs. When the time is up, it's 
<laughs> so, tell us where we're going. Where are we and where are we going? So, it's our second day in a row on Rotorua Island and we're heading up to the North Tower. We're going to go up to the north end of the island and have a look at Cable Bay, one area we haven't been to yet. We've just got a little bit of time this morning before we um, weigh anchor and head over to Coromandel. Yeah, and the wind picks up a bit. Yeah, we'll get a bit of a sea breeze to push us along over there. We were just saying how well they maintain, they keep these tracks yeah, for walking. Imagine, I'd imagine they're pretty important for all their traps and yeah. their volunteers and staff to be able to get them efficiently around the island. It's really good. Yeah, so it's Saturday the 8th of January and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful, look at that out there. Calm out there. Look at that. Glassy out in. Of the anchorage was very glassy this morning we had a very nice tender ride across the anchorage if you look over there just beautiful and I keep saying this but I'm going to say it again you really if you haven't been here and explored it you really need to because as you walk around if you just give yourself a bit of time to stop and just take just stop and look around it's incredible what comes your way look at that so Taiko is anchored there nicely but just beautiful and glassy yep and then we're going across to the Coromandel later today if we see Orca this time we'll try and film them <laughs> but last time was a bit of a panic I think I'm hoping to see Orca and Vicky isn't hoping to see Orca. I don't mind seeing them if we're anchored safely. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow. This is pretty sunny there. Eh? This is beautiful. I hope the camera, I don't even know if it's going to do it justice. Wow. Makes that climbing worth it. your thoughts? What a great morning we've had. Yep, we've had an hour and a half walk. Yeah, a really good walk. A few hills to stretch the legs. Yeah. And no pie No pie today, but the upside is we have at least seen one, right? We have, we've positively identified a pie -tiki. Yeah. And, you know, like we've been here now an hour and a half. Yesterday we were here five and a half hours. And then last week we were here, it was, must have been over three hours. Yeah. And the time just goes so quickly. Even though the tracks are hard going in some aspects, depending on your fitness level. Um, I'm not the fittest person and I've managed to, to walk around. Um, but it goes quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you're just so taken with the scenery and that the birds. Morning. A bit this morning up the north end was so pretty looking oh. up across it down that coastline yeah. and stuff. This is very nice. 
and just like stopping to look at the saddlebacks or the whiteheads or um, the wickers, taikahe, pukeko, you know, you just, the time just goes so quickly. So if you are a bird enthusiast, um, we like birds, we're no experts in them, we're just learning as we go really, um, look them up and see what's of interest. But if you are a bird enthusiast, Rotoro and Terry, we highly recommend you come to in Haraki Golf. And so now we're just walking back down here, um, back down to where the information centre is and stuff like that. Where the big complex was. Oh yeah, what are yeah. you saying? This is where the big complex was. Where the, the big hostel kind of. Uh, yeah, but the terraces. Oh yeah, where they tore down. Yeah. All the rooms. Yeah. So we're back where the chapel is. Um, the jail down there and the schoolhouse and back to information centre. It's just so, and we were up there last week, I mean not last week, yesterday. You can see there's just a north-south tower somewhere up there. So that's where we walked yesterday. So it's quite a big island, a lot to see and a lot to do. Like we quite like that sort of thing, that history that social history as well as the natural history we quite are interested in that and because you walk into these places and you can just get a sense of what it would have been like for the people that had to live here or the people that were sent here um, to recover you know it would have been many hardships for some of them some of them would have been happy but some of them wouldn't have been and yeah okay so that's us, we're going to head back to Taiko now, get ready to set sail for the Coromandel and meet up with our friends. So about 12 nautical miles, about two and a half hours if the wind picks up. Okay, we'll see you then. The last bird we are showcasing in this video is a toria, also known as an oyster catcher. Oyster catchers can be found on coastlines around New Zealand and have a conservation status of endemic recovering. They feed mostly on coastal invertebrates and mollusks and as we were leaving we came across this oyster catcher and its chick, a very nice way to end our time on Rotorua Island. Rotorua Island is a short sail from Auckland City and an even shorter sail from Waiheke, a real treasure of an island making it a must-see destination. If sailing to Rotorua, you pay a landing fee of $5 per person, which isn't bad at all. Plus, if the wind and weather is favourable, you get to enjoy a stay in a beautiful bay with beautiful views. Alternatively, you can catch the ferry from Auckland City, which is just over an hour. So next time you're in Auckland, make a visit to Rotorua Island. You won't be disappointed. Oh, you're back. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Come back and join us in a couple of weeks and we'll catch up on what we've been doing with the boat renovations. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified of future videos. Anyway, catch up with you in a couple of weeks and we'll show you what we've been doing on the boat.